everyone, today I'm starting a series on my makeup channel that I honestly and truly never thought would happen. I have made an entire video about why I don't declutter and why it's not for me. And I stand by what I said in that video and I think it's valid. But I did have something happen that has changed my opinion a little bit for me. And that's that I'm moving and I'm really excited about that. I live in Savannah, Georgia right now. I am moving 13 hours away to live in Ohio to um, do my PhD program, which I'm very excited about. But I realized I have a lot of makeup and I love that. And I'm not trying to be a minimalist. Let me go ahead and say that. I'm not trying to be a minimalist. I'm not trying to declutter half of my collection or a third of my collection or everything and have four palettes. I'm, that's not my goal. But I do know that I have a lot of makeup and I have a lot of makeup I don't love and that doesn't bring me joy and that's not my favorites. And so I've decided that I'm gonna get rid of those things. And I have decided that I'm gonna get rid of them and I'm not gonna move them across the country. Now, I'm not saying that I'm gonna do this video, like this series every year or I'm gonna always be decluttering. That's not my goal. But I'm saying that for right now, because I am moving, I think it's it's important for me to declutter things I don't love. And that's what I'm gonna do. The whole goal of this video is that I have things I don't love and I don't wanna move them across the country, so I'm gonna get rid of them. And I'm not just doing it with makeup, I'm doing it with my clothes and with a bunch of things because moving is a pain in the butt and the less we have to move, the better. And I did want to say, before y'all look at my declutter, I know I have a lot of makeup and I'm not apologizing for it. I've bought 99.9% .9 of it by myself. I've worked many jobs throughout my career as a student. I've been collecting for many years. But I also want to tell you, because I know that some people, and I'm not judging, they declutter and then they end up going shopping and they just, they keep buying a lot more. Currently I'm on a no buy. And I don't plan on buying anything until I go on a vacation this summer. I don't want to buy things in town. I'm only going to buy things if I'm out of town and I'm on a vacation and they have like a memory with them. And I no longer subscribe to any subscription service. So a lot of the th reasons why I have a bunch of makeup that I don't love is because of those reasons. And I'm not doing that. So I really am trying to be better about my makeup spending habits. So I'm not going to end up decluttering every three months because I keep going out and buying a ton more. So I did want to say that. Um... And yeah, I know that I said I wouldn't do this, but things change and I've decided I'm going to. So I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope that it's set up okay. I know that it's not the absolute best, but I'm doing what I can with what I have and that's all I can do. So I hope you enjoy this series and let's go ahead and get into the declutter. All right guys, so today we're gonna do my cheap product drawer, which includes blush, bronzer, highlight, and so I don't think you can really see back there. I'm trying to let y'all see back there, but I don't think you can. Um, so all of my things I put on my cheeks. And I hit the canvas. All right, so let's just get started uh, looking through all of my cheek products. Um, so first I'm gonna grab this guy. This is the Maybelline Masterclass Contour Kit. I love this thing. This bronzer, this is the shade Light. And they are light to medium, and I think they have three shades if I'm not mistaken. This is the fairest one, and it works perfectly for me. This bronzer, like contour really, is absolutely amazing, and so is this highlight. The blush is very good, don't get me wrong, but this is awesome. For sure gonna keep that. This is the Bite Beauty, like little multi-stick. I like as you've seen in my other ones, I do keep the little samples. And um, I try them on my lips, I don't like them. I do like them on the cheeks, so I think I will keep that. I'll go ahead and keep those little samples. Guys, this is the Pop Beauty Sun Kissed Bronzer in Secret Sunshine. This is a little shimmery, but I do like the way it looks on my face because it's not too bad. It's great for summer. So I think I'm going to keep that. This is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder in 706 Hampton Radiance. Now, I know you can't get NYC anymore in America, but I don't like this product. I know that like it's a very cheap brand, and this doesn't really do anything for me, so... I'm gonna declutter that. This is kind of sad. This is the Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. And I liked this, but it was a little too bright for me and it did break. But I there's actually still like a decent amount of product in it and I'd like to use it up. So I'm gonna keep that. Then I have the uh, ColourPop Highlighter in the shade Hippo. I love this. Um, as y'all saw, I do have a dog named Hippocampus. He goes by Hippo for short. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. This is the Physician's Formula Happy Bronzer. This is kind of reminiscent of like the meteorites, if you will, where there's like little pieces of it. 
this is very perfumed and it's just really shimmery and for me it turns my face orange I kind of want to keep it because I like to bronze my legs because where I live you wear a lot of shorts but no I think I think I don't need that I'm gonna get rid of it then I have the Lorac unzip cheek palette and I love this I think it's a great thanks and I've done a review of it so I'm gonna keep that this is the city color B matte blush palette so I won't really have trio so it's got these three blushes this is the only like purpley blush I have I like these two they're all really wearable I'm gonna keep that this is a little sad this is the Laka & Co creamy lip and humble brag I really don't have that much left but I've been digging in because I'm trying really hard to get as much value for all of my products so I'm gonna keep that until it's all gone this is the Revlon powder blush in the shade wine with everything it's a very like, neutral mauve tone blush it's you have to like build it up a lot on your cheeks but I do like that and so I'm gonna keep that this is the NYC mosaic color blush in the shade pink cheek glow sorry about that um, I do like this again it doesn't swatch well but on the face it looks nice then I have the IBY palette highlight and contour I got this in a BoxyCharm and I would not purchase this myself. I am not like the biggest fan of like the idea of a contour kit. I feel like all shades won't work for you, but these all do work for me. I think this is the only shade that they have of this contour kit, which would mean that it wouldn't work for a lot of people. But for me it works and I do enjoy using it, so I'm going to keep it, even though I wouldn't have purchased it. I have the e.l.f. blush in the shade Glow. And it looks pretty in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's it's just it's not right for my skin tone it's too light to be a blush and not dark enough to be a highlight and, and it's too light to be a blush but too dark to be a highlight and it kind of just goes away on the skin so I'm gonna get rid of that this is a little crown brush sample which is the dinkiest thing ever so it's supposed to be blush bronzer and highlight but since they're all in one you can't like individually use them so I swirl them all together for a blush and it's fine but I don't need that. That's going. I have the ColourPop Blush and Thumper. I really like that. And my dog, my mom has a dog named Thumper. So I'm going to keep it. This is the Ulta Beauty Little Cheek Palette that I have. And the blush is called Nude Pink. And the highlighter is called Fresh Glow. It's really pretty. And I actually like the way the highlighter looks a lot in a swatch. But it's too dark for my skin tone. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is a little card sample again of the shade Opal by the Becca Shimmering Skin Finish, and I'm gonna keep that because I don't have Opal and I'd like to try it a little bit more. I love this, even though it's kind of beat up. This is the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Feach, uh, Peach Face Compact. Hold on, it's magnetic and it's hard to open. I almost have pan in this blush, but this highlight like fell out of its pan, um, but it's so gorgeous on the skin. So I am keeping this because it's one of my favorites, but it's a little janky. Okay, I have a couple of these I love this is the Bella Pierre uh, blush in the shade Desert Rose it's really pretty but I don't like loose cheek products I don't like it I don't think I, gotta, I have enough control over it so I'm not gonna keep that and similarly the artist couture highlighter this is in the shade Illuminati a lot of people love these but I feel like whenever I use it I end up with highlighter like all over my face um, for eyeshadows, I'm willing to use like a loose pigment because I think that there's a reason that they're loose and they're so gorgeous. But for cheek products, I'm just not. So I'm going to get rid of both of those. I have this NYX Cream Blush in the shade Natural. And now I've talked before on my channel about how I don't really understand the point of cream cheek products. And I stand by that. But I have some, so I want to keep them and use them up. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have this na Naked Flushed Cheek Palette in the shade Native. I don't love this bronzer, it's really orange, but I do like these other two cheek products, so I'm going to keep it. Then I have the NYX Whipped Blush. Uh, this is really cool, it's very powdery, like when it's actually on the cheeks, so I do enjoy that. This is the shade Pink Cloud. This is one of my first highlighters. This is the Galactic Beauty Chic Shine in Star Silver. It's a cream highlighter, you can see I've made a big dent in it. I love the way this looks on the cheeks, so I am going to keep that. I have the e.l.f. Blushing Bronzer and Contour in the shade St. Lucia. I used up the blush. I have pan on the bronzer, but if we're being honest, this bronzer is just too deep for my skin tone, and it looks patchy. I can't give this away to somebody. It's just too janky, and it's very old. I started my YouTube channel 
in October of 2013 and I got this soon after I started that channel. So I'm just going to throw that away. This is the Torino Tarantino Doll Skin Cheek Palette. This was really hyped on YouTube when I first like started watching and I do like it. I Some of these blushes have glitter in which I don't enjoy but I think they're really pretty so I'm going to keep that. I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the shimmery shade. I have the matte one in the Rainforest After Dark palette that I kept in my palette declutter, which will be linked below. I like this one too. It's very, it's shimmery without being like too much. So I like that. I'm going to keep it. I have the Becca blush in the shade Gypsy. This is one of my favorite blushes. It's this gorgeous, like very cool tone pink. It's one of my favorites, like I just said. Definitely keeping that. This is the Cargo Blush in Los Cabos. It's a very warm tone orangey shade. It's got some shimmer, but it's not, again, it's just not too much. So I like that and I'll keep it. This is the Cover FX Mini Highlighter in the shade Moonlight. Like a lot of people with relatively large makeup collections, I would much rather buy a mini than a full size and I love this. I think it's so pretty. When I first got it and I swatched it, I was like, mm, I don't know, but on the face, big fan. Then I have the Hikari Blush in the shade Shimmer Bronzer. This is just too metallic, y'all. Like, look at that. I don't know who that's going to work for. I don't think anybody, no. Unless you could use that as a highlighter if you have like a very deep skin tone, maybe. But that's not going to work for me. So no, I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Benefit Cheekathon Blush Palette. I don't own any Benefit cheek products except for this palette. And I really like them, especially Dandelion. Hula, I don't love as much as a lot of people, but I like it. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have the Balm In Stain Blush in the shade Lace. Very, very vibrant pink, but it's really great. And the Balm products stay on your cheeks forever. So I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to keep this little mini Balm Springs. I know it's kind of a dinky little mini sample, but that this blush, I use it every day for like a couple of months. And you can see there's still so much in here. And I love the shade and I love how the lasting power. Now, this is a balm product I don't think I'm going to keep, which is unfortunate. This is the Balm Cindy Luminizer. And, oh, it's a little bit chipped. I didn't notice that until just now. You can see right there. I love the Mary Lou, which I have. You can see it's right there. But this is just very pink, and it's a little too deep. It's kind of similar to that glow from e.l.f., where it's too deep for a highlight, but not deep enough for a blush. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'll show you. Here we go. I actually bought this because I love this guy. This is the Sephora Pantone Universe when there was the color of the year was Radiant Orchid. This is their cheek palette, and I love this highlighter. And this blush was one of my all-time favorites, and I still like it a lot. I was hoping this Cindy Luminizer would be like a dupe for it. It's not, but I'm definitely keeping this. This Radiant Orchid shade is gorgeous, but I can't really pull it off as a cheek color. But as an eyeshadow, I, it, I make it work. Then this is the Lorac. Pirates uh, of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales. I love this cheek palette. I feel like most people that got it do. I use it all the time. I'm going to keep it. This is the NYX Blush and Contour Duo Palette in the shade 2 to Tango. Again, I think this is a really cool idea. And I saw another one on somebody else's channel. I don't remember what it was called. But it was the same format and it was much lighter and I could use that. This is just too dark for me. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick uh, Hefty Highlighter. It's a very pink tone, like cream highlighter, and I like it. I like a white to pink tone. Now, that's not all I use, but those are kind of my favorites. Um, as with a lot of makeup, especially I feel like with cheek products and like eyeshadow for me, well, really all makeup, as I've had a collection longer and really gotten more and more into makeup, you learn what you like and what you don't. Um, so, you know, that's you learn your preferences, and hopefully that'll mean I'm going to be smarter buying in the future. But anyway, this is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. It's got four little, like, duochrome holographic shifting shades. I really like it. I do use it sometimes. This is the only kind of holographic-y um, highlighter palette I have, so I'm going to keep that. I know a lot of people bought a bunch of them. I didn't see the need to buy a bunch. I just bought one, and I was happy with it. This is the Tarte Blush and Parte, which, okay, so they spell it like this. So it's Parte. I think what they were trying to say was like, party, but that's not how they spelled it. But anyway, I'm going to keep it. This is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in the shade 
Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. Am I opening it? No, I'm opening it the right way. And I do really like this. I got this because it was on sale and I had a gift card for my mama. And I like it. I reach for it. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to keep that. <coughs> this is the Model Co. Bronzer. I think I got this in an Ipsy or a Birchbox. I'm not sure which one. Super duper shimmery. Um, not wearable. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is the All May Blush in Pink. Now they've redone these blushes since then. But I still love this. Now you have to use a really stiff brush to get some color. But again, it's like that beautiful like doll baby pink. And I love that shade for a blush. So I'm going to keep that. The Trusty Cream Blush in Bora Bora Coral. I like it. I'll keep it. Sorry. You can see I've got a lot back here. All right. This is the Lorac Cheek Palette Beauty and the Beast. I like the, whatchamacallit, Pirates of the Caribbean one better. And this gold highlights too much. It's too dark for my skin tone. And I think these three blushes are a little similar. But I do want to keep it because I do still like it. I think they're nice quality. And it's Beauty and the Beast in Disney. So, you know. Um, then I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first face palette she came up with. And it's got Pearl, Champagne Pop, and Blush Copper. Obviously, Blush Copper is too dark for me. But I like these other two. I'm actually, I think I'm going to get my sister a pan of Pearl. Because she's obsessed with highlighter now. And though it may be hard for you to believe, she's much fairer than I am. So I think she would like that. But I'm going to keep that. This is the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. It's giant, as you can probably appreciate. And... These colors just don't work for me. I can't really get use out of any of them, so I'm going to go ahead and give that away. This is the Cargo Blush and Bronzer Duo in Cantalini and Medium. Now, I would really like to try both of these products, but because this duo is so small, you can't get your brush in without getting the other color, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Laura Geller blush in the shade Raspberry. I love it. This was my first high-end product, I believe, ever. And I absolutely love it. I think it's great. And I'm going to keep it. I have the Balm Mary Luminizer, as I said. This is an amazing pro pop product. And I feel like people just keep, like, you know, this was, like, one of the first big highlighters, I believe, as to my knowledge. And people kind of forget about it. And they come back and they end up loving it. It's, it's just great. It's classic. And I'm going to keep it. I have the BH Cosmetics Lilac Floral Blush Duo. Now, I was thinking that this and that Urban Decay Native were pretty much the same, but they're not, and I like both of them a lot, so I'm going to keep it. My all-time favorite highlight, the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in 01 Highlight. Absolutely beautiful. So natural on the skin. My favorite. Keeping it. Again, this is the Manicadar Blush and Bronzer. They're just two, or Highlighter and Bronzer. This is a highlighter and bronzer beautiful highlight but they're too close together so i'm gonna have to get rid of that this is the hikari blush in tango it's a really pretty matte like um it's looking a little more pink on camera but it's really a little more orange like um coral it's great love it keeping it again just another one of these little dinky things that they're too close together this is from coastal scent so i'm gonna get rid of that one like how many so many of these things are all from subscription services. Just another reason why I chose to stop subscribing to those. Okay. Another little loose blush. I've used up a lot of this. I really like it, but I know I'm not going to reach for it because it's loose and I don't like that. This is the Mistura 6-in-1 Beauty Solution. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks like Dallas in the pan, the blush from... Be, uh, benefit but it's not it's more brown and on my skin tone it's way too brown to be a blush but too red to be a like a bronzer I don't like it at all I'm not gonna keep that then I have the Sorme blush and bronzer duo I just recently hit pan not my favorite but I do like it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it I would like to be able to use it up this is the sleek blush and rose gold when I first started here on YouTube this was like one of the most hyped products ever. Everyone loved it. It's really, really pretty, but it's just too metallic for my liking. My favorite is like a, a matte blush and then a highlight because then I can really control where I have sheen. This is just too sheeny for me, and I'm not going to keep it. Another loose highlighter. This is by Bare Minerals. It's in Flawless Radiance. It's almost gone. I can't like sell it on Poshmark or anything, but John's twins will like that. Or nieces. He's got more than just the twins. 
Then I have the Trustique uh, Mini Highlight in Maldives Luminescent. I like it. I'm going to keep it. This little, new, this is new. This is like the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter in Champagne Flash. It's really pretty, so I'm going to keep it. And similarly, the Benefit What's Up I'm going to keep. I really like this. When I want a gold cream highlight, the Jelly Pong Pong Luminizer and Glow Getter, big fan. I'm going to keep that. I have these two really dinky little samples that I kind of don't want to keep, but I also really like the product, so I'm going to. They're both by Elizabeth Ma. This is the bronzer in What's Up Beaches, which is a really cute name. It's just a really nice cool tone bronzer, so I'm going to keep that. And then Show Me Your Glow is the highlighter. I like it, so I'm going to keep that too. This is the Laura Geller blush in, I mean, excuse me, highlighter in Gilded Honey. I wore it this weekend because I was afraid it was too dark for my skin tone. It actually isn't, so I can keep that. This is the um, Mally and Frozen. This is the Anna blush and highlighter cream, and I'm going to keep that. This Modelco cream blush bronzer highlight. I've used this bronzer a bunch as a cream bronzer. I know it's super metallic, but honestly, on the skin, it doesn't look like that. Um, and so I can use this, and it's not my favorite, but I can get use out of it, so I'm going to keep it. Bahama Mama, I like. It's just too dark for me most of the time, but I'm hoping over the summer it won't be. So I'm going to try it over the summer. This is the... Besame Snow White Cream Blush. This is definitely one of those examples of I bought it because it was in the Snow White collection. And I'll use it, don't get me wrong, but I don't love cream blushes and I know that. I shouldn't have bought it, but I wanted the full collection, so I have it. Something else I will not be doing from now on is buying a full collection just so I have the full collection. This is the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelee in Pink Escape. It's really bright, but it looks nice on the skin. And last but not least, I have the Peak in, um... Metally Matte Cream Blush. It does look super metallic, but on the skin, again, it just looks really nice. Um, and that's in the shade Abu, so like if you look at it, it says Peekaboo. I like that. And is that it? Okay, guys. That's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back and count everything, and I'll let you know how I did. All right, guys. So here is our final product. I did stack a couple of these things over here. Um, that I could really tell the difference. I know a lot of people like store their blushes up on their side like this, but then I can't see it. So I tried to make it to where I could see as much as possible. Still not the best, but you know, we're working with what we got. So this is 54 different products that I did decide to go ahead and keep. And there's our cute little pile of rejects. Uh, those are 19 products, which does mean I got rid of 26% of my collection, which is not bad. Can't uh, complain about that. Some of that will be on Poshmark. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this declutter. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do another one. And yeah, I'll see you all real soon. Bye.